Hi guys, my name is Aubrey Winters and I'm gonna be leading you through a 30 minute total body bala workout. Today we're using three pound bala bars. I'm obsessed with this piece of equipment. Make sure you invest in it because seriously, there's nothing like it. And then also a little resistance band. All right, 30 minutes. We're gonna set that clock, we're gonna get our bodies moving. I'm so excited and pumped to be working out with you today. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna get started standing on your mat here with your feet wide and your toes facing forward. I want you to take a deep bend of the knees, inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, nice big stretch, and then exhale, taking it all the way down and back. Nice big inhale, scooping up all of that energy. Exhale, sit into your heels and send that booty back. Let's go two more. Big inhale, let it go, last one. Big exhale, settle in, arms up the sides, heels are down, toes are forward, let's drive your hips up for two, squeeze, back for two, arms long. Inhale up and exhale back, beautiful. All 10 toes planted into the floor, keeping your chest tall, thighs pressed back here. It's a great indication if you can see the top of your feet, you know that you'll be working right. If you can't see the tops of your feet, guys, I need you to sit back into your heels a little bit more and make sure your knees are not moving, not pushing over those toes. Let's go, one more. One count pick up your pace. Reach, sit back, that's it. So firing up your quads, lighting those glutes up. Let's go for four, for three, that's two. And one, sit low, little pulses down, up, down, up. Beautiful. Spine is long, core is tight, shoulders down, no tension in the neck, in the shoulders, wiggle it out. That's it, you're here for four, three, two, and one. Stay low, tap right, tap left. Now can we take that reach across the body? Good. So we're just getting that heart rate up here. That's four, three, Stay low, two, and one, meet me right. Let's walk left to the right, beautiful. We're gonna get that energy nice and high, taking this time right here to set that intention, set that tone for your workout today. I know doing this at home there can be tons of distractions. Let's try to eliminate all the extra noise and just really settle into your body and your mat because as always, the workout's gonna fly by. We gotta make the most of it. Last two. Last one. Meet me back on the center of your mat, okay? I want you to narrow out your feet. Sit a little lower. Chest tall, arms long, eight counts to hold. Deep breath in, belly in, spine long. Here's four, go lower. Three, two, and one. Whew, shake it off. Beautiful, okay guys. We're gonna keep it moving here. Grab onto your bars. Take your feet wide, toes face forward. Here's the drill. We're gonna do a lot of upper body work, really repetitive, about three minutes straight through, and then we'll start to add in some low body, okay? So from here on out, we're using these bars. Again, if it's ever too much, take that break. Get some water, all right? Whatever you need, this is all for you to feel good, to feel your strongest, okay? So lower body, completely still. Heels down, toes down, toes forward. Arms reach up overhead, flip your palms to face front. Elbows are gonna pull down to 90 degrees and then press straight up. We have 30 second intervals in three, two, one, let's go. Down and up, beautiful. So you wanna hit 90 degrees and then press all the way back up. Really creating that resistance in your body. By that I mean, we're not just kind of moving along with these bars and just kind of looking around, no. You wanna really think about those two key words, pull, press, pull, press. We move for four, awesome. Here's three, holding at 90 and two. On one, burn out your shoulders, hold it here, we close. In and back, beautiful. So three minutes of movement here straight through. The upper body is going to literally light up. I want you firing from your core, meaning we're not rocking back and forth here. That just means that you're not solid, you're not centered through those abs. Holding onto the core tight so you can isolate the upper body, dropping the tailbone, nice and long and lifted. Here's four, stay with me. Three, whew, two, on one, hold it in right here, little pulses. 
30 seconds. Come on. I know, I know. Ah. <laughs> I always say right now is a great time as we hit that halfway point where you can be like, any swear word necessary, just to release it, let it go. Maybe you scream, breathe deeper, 15 seconds. Ah. Let's go. That's four, three, bicep curls in two. On one, elbows pull in, palms up. You curl to the shoulders 90 degrees, squeeze, 90, good. Now elbows are driving into the waistband, flexing your biceps as hard as you can. Make sure you're hitting that halfway point here. So we're not down here, uh-uh, 90 degrees, contract, squeeze, lower. Contract, squeeze, lower, yes. Fantastic, here's four, three, two, on one, open those forearms, squeeze, then close, good. Woo! Now, upper back muscles are squeezing in and down your spine, shoulder blades really locked in, elbows still tight. Almost envision that you're holding a pencil, a penny, right in between your upper back, so when you open and close, we don't release that, right? You almost envision it staying there, squeezing it tight the entire way through. Give me two more. All right, holding this press back, arms extend, then pull. You're in your final minute. I know. Woo, so, so close. Keep lifting up and out of your hips. Keep breathing. I call this long weight sequence Aubrey arms because this is really when I started getting into bar back in the day. This is the best way that I literally change the shape of my upper body. So light weights, here we've got our bars. You're pressing, pulling into them, and a lot of reps, right? Non-stop movement is exactly what gave me those long lean muscles. Whew. All right, give me two more. Holding it out, curl it in, 30 seconds, I know. Chin up, abs in. All you've got, stay right here. 20 seconds, flex a little harder. Make those biceps pop. You guys have got this, stay strong, babe, yes. Ah. 10 seconds. We're gonna pulse it up just for fun. That's four, three, two, and one. Hold it out, pulse it up, I know. Beautiful, wiggle out your fingertips. Just let the bars rest in the hands. Push up into it. Yes. 10 seconds. Take a deep breath in, close your eyes. Exhale out. Four, three, two, one. Press it up, come on. Beautiful. Nice release. Power through this. 30 second cardio push. Fantastic, yes. High energy, power through it, play with those levels. Awesome. All right, you guys, that's four, three, two, and one. Roll the shoulders back and take it forward. Awesome. All right, back to your low body. Take your feet wide. Toes are slightly turned out, so if you don't have super open hips, that's okay. Maybe you just take your toes to the corners of your mat, and then bend your knees, drop it down, last standing exercise. Hands come to heart center. You're gonna lift up, drive your hips forward, and then bend your knees, keep your chest tall. Let's roll with it, up and down. Nice wide stance with your legs. You want your thighs to be pressing back. Really open up your hips. Then I always say, make sure you're not just pushing your hips forward and letting those arms get lost behind you. The stronger, the more sharp you can make it, the more control you have. And that's what we want here. We want full, total control over our body. Good, last two. We're gonna hold it low, your heels lift up and down, yes. Woo. Now pull your low abs in. You're just slightly hinging at your waistline, just slightly. Shoulders down, good. Little quiver to lift, shake to lower, good. 
eight more. Woo! Make sure that core is tight. You've got this. Four more. Yes. Last two. All right, four part combo. You lift up, down, heels up and down. So we combine part A and B of this sequence. 30 seconds right here. Yes. Incredible, come on. Breathe with me. Two more. Ah. Last one. Hold this low, heels high, pulse it up. Up, down, up, down. I know. Put a smile on, guys. With every single rep you stay in it, you are pushing, you are fighting for that burn. You're fighting to make changes for your body. All that work is worth it. Find your balance. Arms reach, reach up. Hold it here. That's eight, don't move. Seven, six, my thighs are shaking like crazy. Four, three, two, one. Let it go. Woo! Tap it out, shake it off. Incredible job. All right, we're taking it right down to your mat. Grab a sip of water if you need it. Towel off if you need to. I'm gonna give you about 20 seconds here just to kind of regroup, okay? We're gonna move into some booty work on the mat. Whenever you set your bars off to the side and then go ahead and grab onto your booty band. Okay, so that band is gonna come around your thighs and we're gonna start with a butterfly bridge. That way you really start to engage your glutes and you find that burn before we move on to any other booty work, okay? So lowering all the way down onto your back. You're gonna open your legs into a diamond shape and bring the bottoms of your feet together, okay? So bottoms of the feet together, heels and toes. Legs are open. I don't want you just opening here and losing that resistance in the band. I want you coming up a little higher, engaging the low core, and really fighting to keep that stillness in the band here. Hands are down at the sides. Squeeze and lift up. Just hold, okay? Remember, we're not here. We're a little more engaged than that. So if you were to close your inner thighs, there would be resistance. And if you were to press out a little more, there's still that resistance, okay? Low abs engaged. Hips high. Try to keep the hips driving straight up to the sky. Beautiful. Now arms are actively pressing into the mat and you're actively squeezing your glutes here. So it's not enough to just lift the hips and hope that you feel a little something. You really, really wanna fire them up and hold them tight, squeeze them as tight as you can, good. We're gonna be here for 10 more seconds, hips slightly higher, good. We lower down in four, three, two, and one. Let's do this, halfway, lift, halfway, lift. Ooh, so if you want to think about it, you lower halfway, you kind of loosen up the glutes and then re-squeeze them to lift up. All right, lower, lift. Now, if you can, the key to it is trying to keep that resistance in the band and trying to keep that contraction through the glutes as you lower and lift, all right? So first I gave you the analogy, you loosen, then you tighten. Now that you kind of have got that, those two different feels, try to notice what it feels like to tighten down and to tighten even more to lift. Awesome. Yes, burning like crazy. Even feeling this through my inner thighs. Shh. Awesome guys, here's four. That's three. We press it out in two. On one hip, stay high little presses. Out, in, out, in. Just an inch. Pulse, pulse. Well, the good news is, is we're more than halfway through our workout here. I guess the bad news, although it's not really bad news, it's only gonna get harder from here, right? Let's bring back that focus. Remember why we started. Set those hips a little higher. Come on, here's 10, nine, eight, seven, keep it up, six, five, four, three, two, hold it. Now, plant your feet. 
Different feel here. Now you really feel those hamstrings, okay? Still on your glute bridge. Hold it. Reach your arms up. Awesome. We are going to lower halfway. Squeeze and lift, that's it. Down, up, down, up. OMG. Yes. One minute right here. Breathe with me. Incredible, feeling that burn. It feels so, so good. I always think even when the burn gets to be so un uncontrollable, you're like, I don't know if I can hold on any longer. I'm like, but wait a second, you work so hard to get here, and yes, it burns. There's no doubt about that, but it's changing you. It's transforming you. It's making you stronger from the inside out, right? We have a choice to either let it go or to keep maintaining that burn, to keep building on it for our strength, right? So in those moments where you're like, I wanna give up, I get really, really hope that you don't. I hope you find that silver lining, right? You have four more. Three, two, hold it up. Walk your feet away from you, flex your feet, your heels are down, your toes are up. I know this is killer. Final 30 seconds, pulse it up, let's go. Up, down, up, down, squeeze, squeeze. So your heels should almost feel like they're gonna slip out underneath you here. Hands can still be here. Sometimes I like to bring my arms up because it helps me engage my core a little bit more and not rely so much on my arms. All right, get those hips higher. Less than 10 seconds, I know it burns like crazy, come on. Deep breath in, close your eyes, exhale, let it go. Here's four, three, two, one. Ah, pull your knees in, roll it out. Rock right and left. Ooh, that feels so good, shake it off. All right, rock and roll yourself up here. Okay, okay. How are we doing, we good? Guys, 10 minutes out, okay? Let's do this together. I want you to meet me in a tabletop position. Hands are gonna come underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Please take that left leg and press it up to the sky. From here, you're gonna tap and cross it behind the right knee and then press it back up in three, two, one, we move. Down, lift, down, lift. Beautiful. Lock it nice and tight through your core. So we're not pressing that low back like this. You're driving those abs in. Come on, eight more. Keeping your arms really strong. So spreading out all 10 fingertips. Driving your hands down into the mat. Stay with me. Last two. Holding it up right here, little pulses. Up, down, up, down. I know. So you're feeling that hamstring really, really connected to the glute here. Entire back of the leg firing up, squeezing tight with every single lift. Beautiful. Keeping your chest open, a line of the back of the neck. So you don't want to cut it off here, right? Lift the chin, eyes out, four more pulses. Beautiful. We close in, lift, close. Press, so fire hydrant, close, donkey kick. Whew. Now we've got that band for a reason. Try to squeeze the inner thighs as you lower. Nice, couple more. Keep that upper body strong, I know it burns. Last two, last one. You're gonna hold it up all off to the side. Point your toe, pulse it up, let's go. If you need to come down to that right forearm, do so, shift a little more weight into the left hand. Keep that left leg up, keep your low abs in. You've got it, I know, I know. Do not give up, come on. You're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Close it in, meet me in a forearm plank. 30 seconds to hold right here. I want you alternating bends through the knees. So bend right and left, 30 seconds. Shoulders, abs, you'll feel this through the quads. Squeeze your glutes, you got it. Breathe with me, 20 seconds and you're out. 
stay open across the chest. Lengthen out your spine. Woo! Come on, don't give up. Here's four. Three. Two. And one. Yes. Woo! Top it out. Nice job. We ready to take it right over to the other side? I know. I don't really give you much of a break. I'm like, you've got this. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So, same thing here. Down in that tabletop position. If you need to roll out your wrists, do it. I know that this can also bring about a lot of upper body work. And sometimes it's too much to focus on both, right? So, if you're like, yo, obs, my upper body, like I just feel like I'm not working right. I'm trying to fire up my glutes. You'll meet me here on your forms, okay? If not, if you feel like you've got your form, you're back on your hands. All right, let's kick this off. In four, three, twerk it up, two, and one. Lock it in. Beautiful. Shh. Connecting to the breath always helps. It's something just to stay focused on. If we're not focused on our breathing and we're not really focused on our body, then it's kind of like, what's the point? What are we focusing on, you know? Our mind shouldn't be wandering to too many other things. We're not thinking about what we're doing after this. We're not thinking about what's happening on the gram, what we're missing out on right now. None of that. You really made the commitment to show up for something. Make it worth it, you know? Really get everything that you can out of it. Awesome, keep that heel glued in tight, four more. Last two, holding it up, tiny little pulses, up, up, good. Energy through your heel. Really locking through those arms. Locking through your low abs. None of this, uh-uh, take it out, Whew. 15 seconds. Deep breath in, close your eyes, kick that leg a little higher, exhale, shh, here's four, three, two, on one, lower lift, go down, up, in, up, good. <sighs> Woo. See, I'm already ready to take it down to that left forearm, can shift a little more weight right, and really bring that focus back to my glutes, the abductors. Awesome. Shift into it, last two. Guys, final 30 second push of the sequence. Close it in. Last one, lift it up, point the toe, pulse it, come on. Whew. If you're not already down on that left forearm, meet me here. All right, energy out through the spine, through the crown of the head. Keep those pulses tight and small. Keep them high. Pull in your lower abdominals and let's crush this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right, down. Finishing that 30 second plank. This time, tap right, tap left. Let's go. Right and left. Come on. You've got it. 20 seconds. Shh. Breathe. As always, you can close your eyes and connect to your body, to your breath, a little bit deeper. Don't lose focus. Woo! Stay right here with me. Four more. That's three. Final two. Last one, each side. Go one right, one left. You're down and back. Woo! Let it go. Take a deep breath. Let your upper body melt forward. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Shh. Let's slowly roll it up. Woo! <laughs> All right, guys. We are so close. This is your last little push of class. It's all core work. Take off your band, you can toss it off to the side. And let's pick up our bars one more time, okay? So, we are going to start with little twists. Here's how I like to work my abs in our last push of class. Non-stop, 
straight through movement. You've experienced this maybe in some of my other workouts. I like to really make sure you guys are not giving up in this last moment. So I'm not giving you a second to regroup. I'm not giving you a recovery. We commit to the three minutes. It's six moves, 30 seconds each, and we flow one right to the next, okay? Let's do it. I believe in you, but do you believe in you? That's the question you gotta ask yourself right now. Let's do this. One bar in each hand, feet are planted. You're gonna sit up tall and then just round it back slightly, okay? So I don't want you here. I want that spine long, but I wanna make sure that you guys are comfy. So if you need to kind of wiggle out to find that low point, do it, all right? From here, bars in the hands, low. Let's punch it across the body. So you've got those arms working, obliques working. Your lowest, deepest part of the abdominals are driving into the spine. Your hips aren't moving here like this. Your hips are actually as still as you can make them. Chest is tall. You got it. 15 seconds. Stay with me right now. Breathe. Here's four, three, two, and one. Arms forward, we roll it back to tap, lift it up to reach. Roll it back to tap, lift it up and reach. 30 seconds. Beautiful, you guys. I know you're looking strong over there. Yes. You have 10 seconds. Woo! Give me two more. Yes, last one. Holding this down and back. Reach your arms up, legs up. Just curl, curl. 30 seconds. We're setting down the bars right after this. A little bit higher. Working for the tightest, flattest abs you've got. My abs are quivering. Come on. 10 out. That's eight, that's six, five, four, three, two, one. Bars down, okay, on your back, nice and wide. We curl up, tap the legs, lower down, upper body down, curl, legs together, tap, lower. So your legs are coming to tap, open up, and then lower down, 30 seconds. Woo! I know, it's not easy. You've got two more moves right after this. Shh. I want two more. Last one. From here, head stays down, hands down. Send your legs out, heels in, toes out, crisscross. All right, lowest, deepest part of the abs driving down. You can take it double time or you can slow it down. I want you to challenge yourself to send your legs one inch lower without letting anything else move. Breathe, inhale, exhale. Tight, 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 yes. 15 seconds, inhale, exhale. Press your low back deeper. Take your legs half an inch lower. Speed it up. Eight, seven, six, squeeze, five, yes, four, three, two, one. Last push. Let's go ahead and slide your legs through. I want you meeting me in a full body plank. Legs together, hands wide. Knees tap, extend, let's go. Tap, extend, this is it, 30 seconds. Now, arms are strong. Keep your low abs in. I don't know about you, but I am feeling so much more energized. I'm feeling so much stronger than I did when I showed up to work out at the beginning of this. That little extra boost of motivation, that energy I'm feeling coming from you, it's everything. You have 10 seconds, shh. Exhale, abs in, spine long, chin up. Woo, four more, three more. That is two. Let's hold it up together, this is it, come on, 10. Nine, eight, seven, don't give up. Six, five, shake it off. Four, in three, two, 
everyone. Oh, wow. All right. We did it. OMG. Yes. Incredible, guys. Let's take your hands down, knees down, and just cycle through cat cow a few times. Press through, inhale up. And then exhale as you press. Again, inhale up. And exhale. Shh. As you press through. Couple more. And your heart rate lower. Taking back control of your breath. Neutral spine. Let's take a seated stretch today. I'm feeling that. So, holding your right leg in. Take your left leg long. Let's take a big side bend stretch here. Try not to collapse into the upper body. Focus on length. You can be here, or you could be all the way down. I used to be like down here. Now I'm kind of somewhere in the middle, that's okay. Deep breath. Our stretch is gonna look different every single day, so it's definitely not something to judge ourselves on. I remember, switch it out, when I used to go to class as a dancer, and I'd look around the room and be like, Everyone has their splits today. I had them, I was so close last week, and now I'm like three inches off the floor and I would judge myself so hard for it. I would get really down about it, but it's just something you remember. You have to put practice in every single day. If you've taken a few days off, your stretch is gonna look different than the last time that you were working out, you know? Flex your feet, reach your arms forward. I want your spine long here, so we're not here, we're lifted. Your sits bones are pressing down, flex your feet, inhale up. Exhale, can you walk it down one more inch? And again, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, a little deeper, one more time, inhale. Fold all the way forward. Now you can round into it. Keep pressing your thighs back. Hold in here, slowly walk it up. Awesome. All right, bring your feet together. Sit up tall, I love this one. You wanna round it back and then Dive forward, arch the low back, scoop it up. Give me a few of these, nice and slow. Awesome, so side view of this. I love this one. You round it back, scoop the yeah, back, and then dive forward, arch, and lift. Good, give me one more. Amazing, you guys. Neutralize that spine. Right arm across the body. Crisscross your legs. Switch it out. All right. Go ahead and bring it center. Roll out your wrists. And other direction. Hands together. Clap it out for you. You guys crushed this workout with me today. Thank you so, so much. Dripping sweat over here. Again, Bala workout. This equipment is incredible. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions ever, you know where to find me. Message me, comment on the workout, whatever you need. Guys, you are absolutely incredible, so inspiring. Thank you, I'm proud of you. I'll see you all next time. Adios, make sure you have a little dance party today. Woo! <laughs>